All right, guys, I wanna do a quick MRI review. So we have this 38-year-old male with severe radiculopathy on the right side, better known in the population as sciatic pain. So we're gonna look at their MRI and try to figure out what's going on. So we'll start with the basics. This is a T2 image, T2 weighted image. Why is that? Well, the CSF is bright. That's how we know it's a T2 weighted image versus a T1 weighted image. Then we're gonna go over what kind of anatomy we have here. This is also called a sagittal image, which means we're looking from the side of the patient. So we have their back here, we have their belly up front, we have their head at the top and their feet at the bottom. We have the spinal cord coming down the middle. The white around it is the spinal fluid. That's what protects the spinal cord and the spinal nerves. That spinal cord will end anywhere between L1 and L2 and then you'll have the spinal nerves continue down. At each segment, those spinal nerves will branch off and go down to the legs at different levels. We then in the anterior column here have a vertebral body, this square, and then a disc in between. Vertebral body, disc, all the way down. All these vertebral bodies and discs look very, very nice. They're nice and hydrated, the discs, since on T2 image, water is bright. So we know that these, high, these discs are very nice and hydrated. There's good height there, there's no bulging going on. We get down to this L5S1 disc and we notice that there's a little bit of irregularity. But when we look into the canal, there's not much going on there. There's not much bulging, there's not much compression. So we're gonna come over to the axle view on this side and see if we're pushing on any of the nerves. And remember, this patient has the pain on the right side. So we come over the axial view and I tell patients, this is like looking straight down, cutting them like pancakes and looking straight down, slice by slice, all the way down at their spine. So what do we have here? This is their back here, their belly is up here. This is their right side, this is their left side. It's flipped from how you're looking at it. Then we have the, the muscles of the back, the muscles of the core. We have our disc up front here. We have the facet joints with the spinous process here. Spinous process is sometimes the, the bone you can feel right in the back and a facet joint here. And then in the middle, the part that we really like to look at is where there is the canal and some spinal nerves. And what really matters here is this little piece right here. This disc that I'm highlighting in blue is pushing out onto the right side, pushing onto the nerves that goes to the patient's legs. So we can erase this so you can see it a little better. This white part here is pushing out, pushing on that nerve, going to the right leg. What I would do to treat this if the patient's also already failed conservative care, I would do a transfer animal injection both at the L5 S1 and at the, and at the nerve below, the S1 S2 area. So the L5 nerve and the S1 nerve. Why is that is because the L5 nerve is coming out here. The S1 nerve is that little black dot right there that is also getting some compression and some chemotaxis, some irritation on it from this disc bulge. So overall, it's not a very wildly irregular MRI, but this one little disc bulge here can cause severe, severe pain for the patient, cause that sciatic pain, and hopefully we'll get them better with a simple epidural injection.